Hello, Internet. So nice to see you. I just got an email about the Hira Joshi scale. Exotic scales are one of my favorite guitar topics, but personally, I don't like Japanese scales. I mean, I love their cold, distant sound, but every single source gives another interval of Hira Joshi and other scales. Dude, I feel your pain, and actually, it's much worse than you think. In your video, you say Hira Joshi will be E F A B C. While, for example, E Irajoshi in on scalescore.com is E F sharp G B C. While Barrows gives the shape like C E F sharp G B. It's for C as root, but still. I totally agree with you. There is no consensus on the exact naming of this scale, and it's actually worse than that, because, for instance, Zlonimsky gives an E Irajoshi scale as E F A. Uh, B flat D. So something completely different again. The point is, all those scales are actually the same scale, and I'm going to show you this right now. So, like you say, I first said that E Irajoshi, it's E F A B C, and it sounds like that. And it's a sound I love. It has this kind of mm, tension and strange intervals inside. Okay, so let's look at a moment at the intervals of this scale. Okay, from the root, I have the E, which is the root. Then I go up one half step. Then I go up four half step for the next note, which is A. Then two. Then one. And then to come back to the original root note, I need to go up four half steps. So let's remember those numbers for a moment, okay? One, four, two, one, four. Oops, four, yeah. <laughs> one, four, two, one, four. So far so good? Great. Now let's see what scalescourse.com tells you it's the Hayajoshi scale, okay? And they say E, F sharp, G, B, C. That's great. Let's play it. Sounds pretty good to me. Of course, it's different because, but let's look at the numbers between the notes, okay? The first note is this E, and we go up two half step, then one, okay? Then from this one, we go up four half steps, then one, then four, to come back to the original. So, two, one, four, one, four. While, while before, our other Aina Joshi scale was one, four, two, one, four. It's the same numbers, I'm just starting from a different point. Okay, so the intervals of the scales are the same. Those two scales are the same scale, they are just modes of each other, okay? Because in one case, I'm taking, I mean, I could transpose those scales so they have the same notes, okay? Because. My Hirajoshi E, F, A, B, C, which by the way, it's not my Hirajoshi, several other authors give this as the Hirajoshi scale, but E, F, A, B, C, okay, would be the same, so my, my E Hirajoshi is the same as A Hirajoshi for scaleschords.com. Okay, they are modes of each other. I'm just, just taking the same scale and thinking of a different root. Is this true for all the other <clears throat> versions too? Definitely, because for instance, Barrow's version, which is C, E, F, G, B, C, E, F, sharp, G, B, I'm sorry, it would be the same thing, but starting from another note. If I transpose it back, and again, let's look at the intervals here, C to E, four, E to F sharp two, F sharp to G one, G to B four, B to C one. So same intervals, just starting from a different point of view. If I transpose this so the root is E, my intervals would be, so again, E, then four up to G sharp, then two to uh, A sharp, one to B, four to D sharp, and one to E. Do 
sounds great too, okay? It's a different sound, completely different sound. But the intervallic structure is the same, okay? All those, those I'm just starting from a different point. So all those are, um, in good, for good reason, Hirajoshi scales, okay? You have to remember that Hirajoshi originally is not the name of a scale. It's the name of a tuning of, the, of an instrument, of the koto instrument. So there is not a fixed starting point there, okay? Uh, of course, in different Japanese traditions, because there's more than one Japanese tradition, uh, they give different names to all those scales, so that the very same Hirajoshi can be called, uh, uh, what I call Hirajoshi, I know it's also called the Miyakubushi scale. They have the same problems that we have in a sense, that uh, there is not one way of naming all those scales, and different people name the, the, the scales in a different way. Sometimes the same name is used for two different scales in two different traditions. It's a mess, like it's for us, okay? I mean, how many Algerian scales do you know? I know at least three scales that are called uh, uh, Algerian scales. It, it just happens when we don't communicate, and then we just keep giving names without consulting each other. But I was saying it's even worse than that because Zlonimsky too gives an Hirojoshi scale that is different from this, those three. And uh, Zlonimsky's Hirojoshi scale will be E, F, A, B flat, D. Again, different sound. It has a similar feeling because of all these, because uh, there are two semitones and then two very large intervals, okay? So two half steps and two very large intervals. And so it's a very similar feeling, but it's not the same because the intervals have changed with respect to the bass, okay? And um, here's the thing. The Haida Joshi has five notes, and we've seen four versions, okay? So there is another version of the Haida Joshi scale, okay? So at this point, it's a good idea to start systematizing this, okay? And it's easy to systematize because we can see what are those intervals and we can use the names of the modes, okay? That we already have, you know, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian, because th those will reflect the intervals we have. So for instance, my Hirajoshi scale, E, F, A, B, C. I would call this the Phrygian Hirajoshi or Hirajoshi Phrygian, depending on what you like. I would call it Phrygian Hirajoshi because it has the Phrygian note, the flat second. If what I just said about the Phrygian interval is a complete mystery to you, I have a course about modes. It's called Master of the Modes. You can find it on the link at the top right, and I totally recommend you check it out. But let's come back to our Hirajoshi scale. What scalescore.com suggests as Hirajoshi scale, which again is E F sharp G B C. That would be called, in a more systematized system, the Aeolian uh, Hirajoshi, because it has the Aeolian note, okay? It has the, a natural second, a minor third, a fifth, and a flat sixth. And so it will fit perfectly an Aeolian mode. So a good idea would be to call this one the Aeolian Hirajoshi and my Hirajoshi the Phrygian Hirajoshi, okay? What happens if we take Barrow scale? Barrow scale, Again, in E will be E, G sharp, A sharp, B, D sharp, E. So the intervals will be the root, major third, the raised fourth, fifth, major seventh, and root again. And this will fit perfectly the Lydian mode, okay? So this would be a Lydian Hirajoshi. This sounds a lot like Satriani or Petrucci, if you want, because it has, it has this sharp four that those players really like. Okay, then there is Zlonimsky scale, and again, Zlonimsky scale was E, F, A, B, flat, D. Okay, and these, the intervals are the E, the flat second, the fourth, so the, the root, the flat second, the fourth, the diminished fifth, Okay, and the minor seventh, and this will fit the Locrian mode. So we can call this the Locrian Hirajoshi scale, okay? I love this sound, it's just, it, it, it feels consonant and then it gets there and it's completely dissonant and I, I love this kind of effect. Okay, but now the Hirajoshi scale has five notes. 
And we have seen four different versions, okay? So there must be a fifth version of all this, but there must be a fifth mode of this scale. And indeed, there is. That fifth mystery mode of the Hirajashi, when we write it with the root on E, will be like that. It will have the root E, a major third, G sharp, an A, so a fourth, then we'll have a C sharp, a major sixth, and a D sharp, a major seventh. mode of the Hirajoshi will fit perfectly the Ionian mode, and only that one, because it has both a major 7th and a natural 4, and the only mode that has both of those, uh, only mode of the major scale, of course, that has both of those is the Ionian mode. So we can call these the uh, Ionian Hirajoshi, or Hirajoshi major if you prefer, like the Iolian Hirajoshi could be called a um, Hirajoshi minor if you really prefer, but I, I'd rather use the modes to be consistent, okay? So here we have it. Different people use the Hirajoshi name to indicate different scales. And there are five different scales that you can call this way, and they are, and they are all modes of the same scale. I will propose, so that it's, be, it's clear for, to everyone which one we're talking about, that we prepend the name of the mode um, uh, before Hirajoshi. So you can have Hirajoshi Phrygian, Hirajoshi Lydian, Hirajoshi Aeolian, Hirajoshi Locrian, and Hirajoshi Ionian. The other two modes that are not here, the Dorian and the Mixolydian, are not that are missing from the Hirajoshi scale. So you cannot make a Hirajoshi Mixolydian or a Hirajoshi Dorian. And so the point is this we are all correct. Yes, there is a difference in how. We use the name, but we are all correct. It's the same scale or better. They are all modes of the same scale. And since the original scale was actually a tuning, not a scale, we, are, we, we just have a difference of opinion on which one would be the main root of the scale. But all those scale work. All those scales sound great. And I totally encourage you to play them on your guitar and see how they sound. And if you need help learning scales and mode, and you were confused a little bit with the Lydian, Phrygian, Dorian, and other stuff, then I would recommend you guys have a look at my course, Master of the Mods. Master of the Mods, it's not a book, and it will never be a book. It's a complete video course made by guitar players, for guitar players, that take you from zero to become an expert in using mods and scales. This course is for people who are not afraid to do some exercises. Theory is important, applying theory is more important, so the course is taught through exercises that you have to do, and the more you practice them, the better you become. If you have just a minute, check out Master of the Mods at the link on the top right. If you like this video, smash on that like button, don't forget to subscribe and click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any idea, any feedback, any suggestions, please write them down in the comments. I love to read from you. This is Tommaso Zillio of MusicTheoryForGuitar.com and until next time, enjoy!